So you see this, all of this for a 30 second TikTok. Perfect! All right. What's up, loves? It's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another vlog. Hope you're all well. It's Sunday, and as you can tell, we're doing a little bit of B roll. This is actually the BTS of a video that should be up a whole week before this vlog since it's Sunday. I hope to have this up by tomorrow. Today is going to be a vlog, of course. I'm trying to stick with that schedule, but I completely forgot that when you're doing these types of videos, you can't have any clutter around. Actually, I will leave it ugh, until March, kind of as a way to bring in the spring, but I'm just at wit's end with a lot of things. And sometimes the best way to get out of a funk is to switch up your actual physical space, which is one of the 10 tactics in today's video anyway. Summer's outside, chilling, west side. You know what I do, yeah. Picking my thighs too. Huh, baby, you're so jealous of me. Topics and me, dripping in the week. Got it on me, yeah, yeah. Huh. Please don't touch me, yeah. You see the difference it makes? I don't even know why I bothered changing the purple this year. It really wasn't it. Maybe it never was. I've been filming since 8 a.m. and it's now 4 p.m. Would you believe me? I literally have not stopped. Today, it's not even supposed to be a day in the life video. It's supposed to be the things I do. But since I wanted to do the things authentically instead of just cram them all in in the morning, it's taken me the entire day to film. I haven't even eaten a real meal yet. I had breakfast, yes, but we're in between lunch and dinner and I haven't had either yet. So I'm gonna film this part because scripture is part of the 10 things I do to get myself right again. And then I'm gonna see about supper because lunch is nowhere to be found now. <laughs> yeah, you say I don't feel no way. Baby, what you mean that I don't feel no way? You want sympathy, but I don't feel the same. All my bitches with me and we paved our way. Cinnamon and sugar, yeah, I made it this way. Mmm, -hmm, going crazy. Thinking only much would ever make me. Mmm, -hmm, gonna play me. That was excessive. I only edited about half an hour of a three hour vlog that needs to be down to 30 minutes. So I got a lot of work cut out for me if I want to post this by three tomorrow. I kind of wanted to have it done today. But by now it's too late. I might only get views on the eastern side of the planet. Slept last night. At least there's that. But the dreams I woke up from just now, different. Steven Spielberg ain't got nothing on me because the M. Night Shyamalan la 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 type of dreams I'd be having are crazy. Oh, you work. Those construction people started at an illegal hour. Seriously. Early every day, go finish the entire thing ahead of plan. OMG, when did Walmart become so bougie? I've never had aisles like this before. Accessibility on this is so useless. It's just a select option. <laughs> it's still small though. Now it's starting to snow, but luckily it's not cold at all. Usually when it's this sunny, it's a trick. It's freezing, but it's actually super warm today. Okay, super warm is going a little bit too far, but no complaints. I actually like this weather. I'm going to walk to the grocery store now, then I'm going to go home, make lunch, prep and plan, upload the vlog. You'll see. I'll just show you. <laughs> hola, 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 hola. Are my eyes deceiving me? Do they have Jolly Bees in this neighborhood now? Wow. I learned last time that I brought groceries in and broke my tripod not to do that again. So the groceries are over here and you're all the way over there. But I have two bags of this. I'm not picking up the other one. <laughs> I'm not doing it, guys. I did an arm day in the gym. I probably shouldn't have known I was getting groceries after. But now my fridge will be fully stocked, hashtag adulting. Meanwhile, I'm listening to a podcast about the Freedom Convoy. My brother and my uncle told me about it on the weekend. 
And I was like, what's that? Now listening to more of it, I'm gonna have this coffee. I'm gonna try it. It's hazelnut vanilla. Let's hope that it tastes better than the French vanilla. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go to Whole Foods tomorrow because their coffee, Chef's Kiss Divine Ethereum. I'll make some pepper shrimp. I'm so happy now that I cleaned out my freezer. Everything feels so much better in there. They still smell like the freezer though. I only put them in the dishwasher to get rid of the freezer smell. They were clean. But you see like, everyone has their own interpretation or definition of clean. I put heat to dry, but uh, I don't think the dishwasher got the memo. This dishwasher is like brand new. I've used it maybe 15 times in four years. I'm just not really big into dishwashing things. I only ever really use it if I need to sterilize something or if I baked and cooked. Ooh, that smells so good. I'm melting out the wax out of this and it's releasing all of the essences. Ah, I missed burning this candle. I bought this before I moved out. If you knew how much stuff I bought before I moved out to prepare for living here, you'd be like, I switch topics so quickly, it's kind of crazy. This is the perfect example of flow. You know, when you love what you're doing so much that time flies, I didn't even realize that the sun was setting because I've been staring at the screen for so many hours. But I'm done and it's rendering and the vlog is gonna be up but three hours late, but better late than never. I need to pod too. When am I gonna have time to pod tonight? Ooh. multitasking <laughs> morning loves happy feb first can you believe it's a new month already 11 to go before this year's over that's the way i look at it this is insane always with the multitasking why can't i just ever do one thing nope so i'm replying to comments from my vlog that i posted last night that was last week where i was miserable and honestly guys i'm so grateful for each and every one of you the fact that you took time to watch the vlog because it was a longer one the time that you stuck watching the vlog because it was a miserable one and that you took time to comment these sweet things just wishing me well i'm feeling better already as you can tell from yesterday's segment the week is starting to look up i'm really focusing on the mindset which is something that i'm talking about in the pod i'm posting today if you want to check that out and everything is going to be okay we all have waves we all have something we're dealing with and there's so much beneath the surface that we all have to give each other grace. That's why when people are rude to me outside, I'm just like, I don't know what's going on in your life, but I'm gonna let it go. It's when people attack me though, that's a little different of a story, but we'll, maybe we'll make a story time about that. Whatever it is, whatever you're going through, know that you're not alone. I'm just so grateful that I have you guys, of course, my family and friends to get me through because it's never just you alone. And if you feel alone, reach out to somebody. Hey, I'm Av Lam. Am I saying it right? Av. Hey, if you're seeing this right now, tell me how to pronounce your name. Because it's really pretty. But I'm probably butchering it. I've been waiting for 40 minutes. This is why I hate midday appointments. <laughs> Let me stop complaining though. Because if they could figure out what's going on, we'll be good. Monday, my furious, baby. You have to miss me, it's lit, lit. I know front facing camera is not that good, but it'd be too much to try to flip it with this in my hand. I just had a bright idea. I have no idea how I'm going to execute it, but I was thinking what if I created some kind of organization or company that had jobs for visually impaired people. Not like the CNIB because everyone always complains that they don't do enough, but more like I bridge the gap between companies thinking that they can employ visually impaired people and then pairing them with overqualified or well qualified or somewhat qualified visually impaired people. I stopped off at Farm Boy. Don't ask, just whoop, almost lost my AirPods. They dropped once and now it sounds like it's underwater as if the noise cancellation didn't already sound like it's underwater. It's like, whoa, 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 whoa. anyway, 
I got only two things from Farm Boy because Farm Boy is a sleeve with an extra E. I got some salmon. The cost of everything really went up in this city. Did I show you guys that last week when I made it? Or was it the week before? I don't know. But when I make it, I'll show you this time. Oh, I did show you guys. I did show you guys. I just, some scenes went missing. This is the fourth time, or should I say the fourth specialist that ruled out that is the reason for my pains that I've been talking to you guys about over the years. So the hunt still continues. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I remember when I bought this computer, I'm like, whoa, it's so big. I'll never need this screen to be zoomed in that much. <laughs> and here we are. That's okay. That's how life goes. I need you to see the chaos. BTS, this is what it looks like when I have to do my lookbooks, or in this case, a Valentine's reel. Let's get put back. Whoop. There's no way I'm editing today's video in time. It's already after five, the sun's down. So it'll be tomorrow's midday video. I'm in order to get this right now. Let's take this off, because this is my backup one. The things I do for YouTube, mind you, even if it's for the gram, it's still for YouTube. My only, only hope is that it turned out well. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it all over again tomorrow morning, or maybe I'll do a different type of video and just grab this one, who knows? We'll see how I feel. Close the blinds, because I'm sure the neighbors over there think I'm a cam girl or something. Why, why, why? What's going on, plants? You're trying to expose me? So you see this. All of this for a 30 second TikTok. Oh, there's more. <laughs> not feel as soft as it used to. Months later, I realize all the fuzzies are only left on the sleeves and that's because I turn it inside out when I throw it in the machine. <laughs> so I guess every time I've washed it, it's lost more and more of this fluff until now I can t clearly tell there's literally nothing left here. I don't know why I never realized that before, but this sweater is rough as a duck. Biotic and biotin. I need to take biotin. for a second. This right here is the definition of chaos. So I'm just in my backup spices bag, all my regular spices over here, but I didn't see any onion powder. And then I have onion salt. I'll add some. I don't really know what I'm doing. I just hope it turns out good. Let's turn it off for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Don't let me forget. <laughs> Never once complained about something like, oh my gosh, this is too flavorful. I don't know what to do. Apparently washing your meat and your poultry and your fish before you cook is a Caribbean thing. Whenever I talk to my non-Caribbean friends, they're like, wait, you wash your meat before you cook it? Uh, yeah, hello. If you're a member and you've watched my blind series, then you know I have hacks for doing things in the kitchen when you can't see what you're doing. Call them life skills. I lost the ears. Good gosh. Oh, it leaked. It about a snowstorm. I mean, the snow is still on the ground, but that's from before. I don't see any storms. So after yoga, I'm gonna edit my video. When it renders, I'm gonna run out real quick to grab my prescription and a few groceries. Switch your left arm up and back. Inhale, right arm reaches down. So I'm gonna just inflexibility. Hold down, grab a hold of what you can, whether it's the foot or the ankle. Guess what I got? And please don't mind the hair. I'm gonna straighten it, which is why there's no curl product in it to keep it under control. I've been looking for these for over a month now. Over a month. I mean, we've had some shortages here and maybe this is not the biggest priority, but hey. Guac turned out so good. What 
is this? Crumbs? What in the handmaid's tale, okay? So let me tell you about this real quick before I do my yoga sesh. So I dreamt that 20 years from now, they started to, can I even use this word on YouTube? Euthanize people who had disabilities like me because they wanna clean up the gene pool. It's giving me 1984. They considered me quote unquote useful. They kept me around to work in the institute where they would genetically modify to optimize human beings. Of course, because I mean, I played at, I ran away. I hitched a ride on the top of a train to escape Canada to the United States, but there was also like a literal vortex protecting the states from whatever mess Canada was up to, which is giving me real Handmaid's Tale tease, but reverse. One point I get in touch with my mom and she's like, you left your brother behind? And I'm like, behind? He doesn't have any eye disease. Why would they get him? But he was apparently like hiding out in the swamp because he's an environmental scientist and he was caring about the environment. And she's like, you let him die. I'm like, no, he's not. He's sleeping in the swamp, which he was, which was super weird. Why would my brother be sleeping in the swamp? I'm just like, why am I dreaming about this? Bend and breathe. Try to have your best and in case you possible, that's not a bad thing. And slowly see if you can come back up through standing. And I'm like, wait a second, I forgot something. I had to go all the way home to get my mask. How am I supposed to go and pick up something up if I can't go in without a mask? It's been two years. How do I forget a mask? This coat is worth every cent. Honestly, it's the tropics in here. I wanna try a new recipe tonight. Oh my gosh, my prescription. Well, the acne one was $120. That's crazy. And then I got another prescription too. And the last time I got this one, it was $8. So I think I was still technically covered under my old work plan. This time it was 25. We should have worldwide insurance. It's unfortunate and unfair because a lot of people who work shift work or have minimum wage, I forgot to mail it again. This is over a week now, I've been forgetting. See how this latte, which actually for once has the layers, I'm gonna Instagram this before I try it because it never separates like that. It's always a whole mess. But first, tricks are for kids. I don't know if it's because it's oat milk. It's not as good as when I was a little kid. Or maybe I just because they literally are for kids. How sad is this? I was supposed to throw this out from the video I posted yesterday. Clearly I'm holding on for what? For nothing. There's nothing. There's literally nothing. I heard though, if you cut with a knife on an angle, it will grow back. I don't know if that's an old wives tale. I should probably try it before I toss it out since I mean, it's cost a lot of money. If I told you how much I spent in plants in the last three years since I moved here, well, four technically. It's embarrassing. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <sighs> what a workout. Good morning, guys. I just finished a double sash because I filmed it for TikTok. So I did more than I usually do. Plus this med is kicking in and it's kicking my butt. I hate it so much. Oof, okay. Let me get up, <laughs> shower, and make a smoothie and get on with my day. <sighs> that shower was so good. Smoothie, not so much. I forgot to put a date in it. I started sipping and I'm like, wait, ah, and then I blended it all over again and it was much better. These right here are my daily three. Brows, lashes, lash line. Once I got those three, I'm good. But first I gotta wet this 
You know, for the longest time I was using this and I was just like, why is there no product coming off? Why is this so stubborn? Then I realized you have to wet it. Yesterday I did the mirrorless challenge. I'm gonna post that on TikTok. Remember when that was a thing on YouTube? That was so long ago. That was more than 10 years ago. I remember when it was popping, I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna become successful on YouTube from going viral. Why was I so stubborn? That's what everyone does. Every single person that's ever made it on YouTube has done something to go viral. That's just the name of the game. I don't know why I was such a, sitting on such a high horse. Anywho, clearly since I have less to do, let me try using this mirror and see how bad it comes out without my magnifying mirror. That will be the challenge today. I'm doing a skincare video. I haven't done one in so long. I really can't see. Guys, pray for me. Today's chit chat combo topic is gaming. As a legally blind person, I'm torn. Is gaming the best use of sight or the biggest waste? On one hand, if I could switch vision with a gamer who sits at home all day staring at a screen, I would because I would explore the real world, go adventure, travel, experience, see friends and family for all that they are and how their faces have changed over the years. I can't really tell these things. But on the other hand, Gaming is one of those hobbies and professions, because we gotta say what it is, some people are making billions with a capital B off of that industry, whether they are the, what do you call those people? The graphic designers, the gaming programmers, or the gamers themselves. If a gamer was losing their vision, what would they do? They would game as much as they can before they lost as much vision as I have, right? So is it the worst use of vision or is it the best? Either way, anyone who has more vision than me, I consider blessed. As much as I'm the princess of positivity, being diagnosed at 21 really threw a wrench in my plans. I'm still grateful for my life now and I want my 30s to be better than my 20s. But I made a lot of decisions based on my limitation, which I am not doing going forward. So tonight I'm gonna make a chow mein. I'm gonna try to do it the Guyanese way, since the last chow mein I had was Guyanese and it was so good. But I'm not using chicken because I didn't get the memo. <laughs> I didn't decide until an hour ago that I wanted to make this. So it's gonna be a vegan version, which Guyanese people don't really do that, but I'm not Guyanese, so. I'm glad I took nutrition as my undergrad because it taught me a lot about health and eating well, but I also wish that I could make money off of it. It makes me overthink sometimes, like I'm not getting enough of this nutrient and it needs to bind with this one in order to be truly effective. And it's like, why am I thinking about this? Just cook, just cook, chick. My video uploaded, you guys are liking it so far. I had to do today's video six times because the hair was not doing what it was supposed to do. So I just changed the part to the other side and ta -da! And I only had one take. The way the sun was coming in, it was gonna be super off if I didn't get it done. So hopefully you like it when it's up. Service and marketing and national import board. The Grenada International Airport was well underway by 1983 and like many of Bishop's infrastructure projects. Was I just finished watching the Janet Jackson doc and I have to say, wow, she really went through it. And that documentary is giving me Michael Jordan doc tease where you know most of the stuff she said and talked about. And I feel like they're holding a lot back purposely, but it's okay. We still took away a lot of life lessons. The biggest one I took away, of course, is gratitude. But even deeper than that, in all of her situations and circumstances, she never blamed anyone anyone and plenty of times i'm listening i was listening more than watching because you know you can't really see and i was also editing my tiktoks and reels simultaneously but every time she said something about one of the guys she was dealing with or the justin situation she always just took the onus and a few times i said mm -mm, girl that's not on you don't take it on it's not on you but there's a certain grace and softness that comes with her aura. So I hope that she's really happy where she's at. It was a perfect way to end my Saturday night. It really took me down memory lane. Growing up, my mom was a huge Janet Jackson fan and I remember a lot of moments. So yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. So until next week, AKA tomorrow for me, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love you later.